Hi and welcome to Read by Hewell. Today I'm going to be reading Black Dog by Levi Pinfold. Black Dog by Levi Pinfold. One day a black dog came to visit the Hope family. Mr. Hope was the first to see it. My goodness, he cried, dropping his toast. He didn't waste any time in phoning the police. There's a black dog the size of a tiger outside my house, he told the policeman. The policeman laughed. What should I do? asked Mr. Hope. Don't go outside, said the policeman, and put down the phone. Mrs. Hope was next to get up. My goodness, she cried, dropping her mug of tea. She didn't waste any time in calling for Mr. Hope. Did you know there's a black dog the size of an elephant outside? She yelled. Yes, said Mr. Hope. What should we do? asked Mrs. Hope. Turn out the light so it doesn't know we're here. Adeline Hope was next to get up. My goodness, she cried, dropping her toothbrush. She didn't waste any time in calling for her parents. Did you know there's a black dog the size of a Tyrannosaurus Rex outside? Yes, said Mr. and Mrs. Hope together. What should we do? asked Adeline. Close the curtain so it can't see us. Morris Hope was next to get up. My goodness, he cried, dropping his teddy. He didn't waste any time in calling for the family. Did you know there's a black dog the size of a big Jeffy outside? What's a big Jeffy? asked Adeline Hope. Never mind that. What should we do? demanded Morris Hope. Hide under the covers, they wailed. It was then that the youngest member of the Hope family, called Small for short, noticed that there was something going on. What are you lot doing under there? We're hiding from the black dog, they whispered. Oh, you are such sillies, said Small, opening the front door. Don't go out there, gasped her family. The hound will eat you up. It'll munch your head. It'll crunch your bones. But Small had gone anyway. Outside, the black dog leaned down towards her and breathed. Crikey, you are big, said Small. What are you doing here, you guffin? The black dog snuffed at her. All right then, she said. If you're going to eat me, you'll have to catch me first. And with that, she scurried into the lowering trees. As she ran, she made up a song. You can't follow where I go. Unless you shrink or don't you know. The black dog followed. As Small hurried towards the frozen pond, under the little bridge and over the ice, she sang, You've got fat legs, ice is thin, lose some weight or you'll fall in. And the black dog followed. Next she scuttled through the playground, down the slide and around the roundabout, singing, You've a big tam, I'm all slim, you'll fit through if you're more trim. And still the black dog followed. Finally Small had run all the way back to the house. You'll find out why they all hide if you follow me inside. And with that, Small tumbled into a warm home through the cat flap. She really was that small. And so by now was the black dog. Inside, Small grabbed a washing basket, and as the black dog scrabbled in behind her, she covered him with a loud ha. Just then, the rest of the Hope family popped up from behind their barricade. You haven't been munched, cried Mrs. Hope. You haven't been crunched, cheered Mr. Hope. You haven't been eaten, yelled Morris Hope, missing a poetic opportunity. But where's the black dog? 
asked Adeline. Without a word, Small lifted the basket. The rest of the Hope family were extremely pleased to see that the black dog was neither so huge nor so scary as they had feared. He doesn't seem fierce at all, now I really look at him, said Mr Hope. The rest of the family agreed. We were silly, said Adeline. Only Small knew the right thing to do. Everyone was quiet for a while, thinking how brave Small had been. You've got a lot of courage facing up to a big, fearsome thing like that, said Mrs Hope. There was nothing to be scared of, you know, replied Small Hope as she went to sit by the fire, and the black dog followed. The End Thanks for watching. And if you enjoyed that book, please subscribe for future stories. Until next time, goodbye.